dealing with this man and we all sit around and tell you hey these are some red flags you're ignoring i don't think that this is a good idea maybe you should end this you don't want to listen because you're so insistent on falling in love which is okay but if we're all telling you this is not the man to fall in love with and you don't listen to us what happens when he inevitably proves us right you're currently in a relationship and you the people close to you your friends your family anyone close to you or your neighbor is seeing that the person you're in a relationship with does not even cherish the relationship or doesn't even acknowledge or respect you and people are trying to tell you oh this person is the boy you this person is bad for you this person is wrong for you but you just keep you know ignoring all those advice and you're splimming it and saying that you are in love and that's the only thing that will keep you going in a relationship how does that make sense i feel like we've talked about this topic before a lady that came and said that people should not judge her because she stayed in a relationship because she was in love she stayed in a messed up relationship because she was in love and she was trying to make things work that people should not judge her for it let me know your thoughts about this conversation down in the comment section let me go ahead and roll this clip for you all to watch to the end so you can understand what i'm talking about in today's video and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video hey ladies I saw a video the other day on here. I'm going to tag it below if I can find it. But it was basically this woman expressing how this whole movement to like decenter men is making some women feel isolated and making them feel guilty and ashamed when they are in less than perfect relationships. She was basically saying like, why, why do I have to be made to feel bad for the fact that I just wanted to fall in love? Why can't I continue to receive support from my friends that I don't listen to? And I've been looking for the words to answer that question. I haven't been able to quite find it, but I saw a tweet today that made it click in my head. Go with me here. The tweet was a screenshot submitted by a man to an advice column type of thing, I think. I should have screenshot it, but I forgot. I'm sorry. But basically, in the screenshot, he was saying that he has a wife who's eight months pregnant. And for her whole pregnancy, she has not had any pregnancy craving. Or so he thought. Turns out she has had pregnancy cravings. Obviously, she's pregnant. She's just been paying their neighbor to help her with these cravings when the time comes instead of going to her husband who she got pregnant by then he also was saying that she didn't have morning sickness for this whole eight months or so he thought she did have morning sickness she just didn't feel comfortable telling him about it so she was going to her sister and her mom and talking to them about it instead of the man who impregnated her whom she is married to so he confronted her about it and she basically said that at some point like prior to her pregnancy uh, he expressed to her that women who complain about things like that are whining. So she didn't want to be a whiner. So now she doesn't emotionally depend on him for things like that because she doesn't want to make him feel bad. So instead of going to your husband who put this baby in you, who you're supposed to be able to go to about anything, you're depending on neighbors and your friends and your family for things that he should be dealing with. And that is why we are so adamant about holding women accountable for the decisions that you make in your romantic decisions. That's why. Because when you start dealing with this man and we all sit around and tell you, hey, these are some red flags you're ignoring. I don't think that this is a good idea. Maybe you should end this. You don't want to listen because you're so insistent on falling in love, which is okay. But if we're all telling you this is not the man to fall in love with and you don't listen to us, what happens when he inevitably proves us right? Now we are the ones who have to give our resources, both physically and emotionally, to pick up the pieces that he broke because you didn't want to listen. And as your friends, as your family, as your community, we're going to do it because we love you. But we have a right to express that this is not really cool. And to say that you should be held accountable for that because this is your decision. It reminds me of a friend I had like two years ago. She was messing with this dude who she had no business messing with. I told her that she didn't want to listen. They weren't in an official relationship. They were doing everything the people in a relationship do. So I guess it was some sort of situationship. I don't know. They worked together. One Saturday night, we, all three of us, went out. We were out all night. She and I stay in one city. He stays 45, to, 45 minutes to an hour away. After we went out, I went home. I thought we were going home together. She went to his house. I said, okay, cool. The next morning, she had to be work at 7 a.m. And she's blowing my phone up, talking about she left her work badge and her like key to get into the building at his house. She left them at his house. And she's calling me, who's an hour away, asking me, can I go to his house to go bring it to her? I said, why are you not asking that man who you're giving free coochie to? She's like, oh, he's busy. He's, he, he can't do it today. What is he doing? You ask? It was his day off. He was sitting at the house. Yeah, you, you did. You heard that correctly. 
She left her work things at his house. They have the same job. He goes to that job the same time that she goes to that job. He just happened to be off that day. And living five minutes away, he didn't even want to bring her the stuff that she forgot that she needed to get into her job. So you're calling me, who was out just as long as you were, but lives an hour away, and you want me to do it. Then when she got off work later that night, she needed a ride home. And who was she calling? Me! Instead of that man who had you out there, who lives five minutes away. And me being a good friend, of course I went and got her, but I'm gonna tell you, you should not have to be calling me for these type of things if you got a man. If you're giving a piece of yourself to that man and he can't even get up on his day off to drive five minutes down the road and make sure that you can get into your job, something is wrong. That's the type of stuff that we're talking about. That is why we are so adamant about holding women accountable because this does not just affect you because you're not going to do it by yourself. You're going to get with this man that everyone told you not to get with. And when he shows you exactly why you should have left him alone, when he abandons you, when he leaves you, when he does you wrong, you're going to be looking at us and you're going to want some of my money. You're going to want some of my resources. You're going to want me to stay up all night on the phone listening to you cry about this man that we all told you not to be with. You have a right to do what you want to do, but as your friends, we have a right to have a problem with it. I know being held accountable sucks, and I know that it hurts to be on the side where you just want to fall in love and you don't understand why nobody can see what you see in this man. Yes, that hurts, but I, there's no other way to do it. I mean, I don't know what you want us to do. They always don't want you to hold them accountable. They just want you to be there whenever they need you. So when you open your mouth to tell them that what you are doing is wrong or they have to leave the relationship or this is not just right, they don't want you to tell them that. Hey, beautiful people, and welcome back again to another interesting video. It's your favorite girl again, Myra David, and I'm back again with another interesting video. We are still doing voiceover because I'm still recovering. I'm down with malaria and other sickness. <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. I still have interesting stitches to share with you all. Maybe share their opinion on this matter. But then I would really love to hear your own thoughts in the comment section respectfully concerning this topic. I've had a friend that you know quite well that they're in a relationship and you know that that relationship is not good for her or she's just, you know, you just know and you keep telling them and they, they just don't want to do the right thing. But then they feel like they are being isolated if you're being telling them the right thing. They don't want to hold out held accountable for anything. Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. I want to share my thoughts at the end of all this teaching. You're so adamant about holding women accountable for the decisions that you make in your romantic decisions. That no, but for real. Like, women really do have to be held accountable for the stuff that they do. And sometimes being held accountable means that we don't help them no more. Because in our actuality... In the reality of it, I know somebody, and this isn't a friend, friend of mine, but I know her through a friend that we have mutual. And one day she called this mutual friend, like she's dealing with this guy. And one day she calls this mutual friend and she's like, hey, I need money to help pay my rent and pay some bills around here. And I'm struggling. And the mutual was like, no, <laughs> I'm not giving you that. And you got a whole dude that's really like you giving free Gucci dude. Like, you're giving out free coochie and you're doing all of this stuff. And why can't you call this dude and ask him for some money? And she was like, oh, I don't want to. Oh, let me just say they're not friends no more. They're not friends no more because I'm not going to continue to support your bad habits. Why, why do I have to be made to feel bad for the fact that I just wanted to fall in love? I've seen that little video floating around and goodness knows I've been ignoring it for the most part, but... If you feel bad because you are with a less than perfect partner and you just want to fall in love, I think you need to just acknowledge the fact that you are with a crappy partner and you know it, but you just don't want people to call you out. Because everyone knows their their significant other is not perfect. There is no one in this world who, even in the happiest of relationship, thinks their partner is absolutely perfect. But if you feel bad because your partner is less than perfect, and you're hiding them or you feel ashamed or, you know, you feel judged for not being in a perfect relationship. I think you need to call a spade and spade and just acknowledge that you are not in a good relationship and stop blaming other people for calling you out or you calling yourself out, really whole movement to like decenter men is making some women feel isolated and 
more desperate someone is, the worse they get treated in a relationship because they don't know themselves enough to know their boundaries. They don't love themselves self enough to know this is not how it should happen. And kudos to the people who are who have been waiting and waiting and just growing and growing. And you know you want love, but you are not settling because the more desperate and the more you settle is the more you're going to get mistreated. I've noticed that the more that I grew as a person and learned myself, the higher quality the men are that come into my life. Because the, the losers, they know they can't have you. They know. They stay in their lane. So you could either be in loser lane or winner lane. But you got to know and do your work. A friend that chose to be there for you when you need them, especially when you are with a wrong partner, I don't think you should take those friends for granted because most of the time you can call them at any given time of the day. You can call them in the midnight, you can call them during the day, you can call them anytime even when they are busy. They always put things aside just to please you because they know that they, they owe you that because they are just your friend. But then if they are trying to tell you the real truth, why don't most of these women listen? Why don't they listen? Why they don't want to just stick to those truths? Because if you have a friend that you can trust and you can call at any time and she's there for you, your supporter, it may even be any of your family member, they are always there. But then when they tell you that, you know what, this particular person that you're with, you need to let go because it's not doing anything good. In fact, you they don't even need to tell you because you're already seeing that this relationship is not going anywhere. It doesn't even favor you, but you are there just because you want to experience love. How is that even an experience of love? And why don't you even try to listen to these people? But then you feel like, oh, they're just being selfish or they don't want you to enjoy what it means to be in a relationship. And you see most of them come and say, oh, you can't understand how I feel because you're not in a relationship. You can't understand it because you don't, you've not fallen in love before. Or they might say, oh, it's not my fault. It's because I am in love. These men, they see it. They see that... You are putting in so much effort, even when they are not putting any effort. And when they see that they are, you are, they're not putting in any effort and you're still there putting in so much effort, they will keep treating you the way they are treating you. And that is how you see them going out to treat other women exactly the way you want them to treat you. So my own is that, why are you still stuck in a relationship when you know that it is not good for you, it is bad for you, but you keep still being there and you keep still using your friends because you know that they will always be there for you because they are your friend. And But then when these kind of friends come and tell you the truth about the relationship you're in, you get offended, you feel isolated, you feel like you don't want to share things with them anymore, you feel like, you know... And sometimes maybe you've been you keep advising your friends about a particular partner and even you as a person you'll be like you know what when it comes to you and this person i don't want to hear anything about it because they don't listen to you they keep going back to this person but you know that this person is bad for them you already foresee it because you're not the one in the relationship but they will not see it. they keep going back and you keep you just have to tell them like i don't want to hear anything about you and this person again <laughs> And then they will answer saying they feel isolated. But then, have this ever happened to you before? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section respectfully. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this. Kindly like and share and subscribe so you can post notification bell so you can get notified once I upload another interesting video like this. Of course, see you all. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.